Well, Fox 35 continues to track the tropics this morning. You are looking at two possible areas of development. One of them is just off the Florida coast. So I'm joined by meteorologist Brooks Carter and the Fox 35 storm team. And Brooks, listen, we are in hurricane season. As much as we want to go la 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 la, and la, la here we are. <laughs> this right. is it, right? This is but it. this could bring us our first named storm. Yes, in the southwest Gulf. Thankfully, no impacts here. But we're not going to have any impacts here yeah, near us. Just okay. some high clouds. That's mm -hmm. it. But the name of that storm would be Alberto. It is expected to happen later today. Okay. Um, thankfully, that little blip there in the Atlantic doesn't tropical look like it's going to do much. Nah. Would it be a tropical? Oh yeah, Alberto would be. Yeah, tropical okay. storm. Right. Okay. Probably not a hurricane. Um, and then the yellow here out in the Atlantic would just be a, a little bit of a moisture increase for us. Gotcha. Thankfully, nothing major. So here's the latest. The Hurricane Center is calling this officially a potential tropical cyclone. Which um, a lot of folks are like, well, what's what's a cyclone? Isn't that what happens in the uh, Indian Ocean? And the answer is yes. Uh, it's all the same phenomena. But the science word for this is cyclone. But in, tract in practice, it's a, it's a potential storm. So we're just going to call it potential storm number one. And, uh, and that means basically the Hurricane Center is forecasting the imminent development of a tropical storm. It's probably happening in the next 12 hours. And so at that point, they can go ahead and issue watches and warnings before the storm forms to give folks ample time to prepare. And in fact, they've issued a tropical storm warning from South Padre Island all the way up past the Bolivar Peninsula, and that includes the Houston area in Galveston Bay. Uh, that said, the storm is expected to make landfall north of Tampico, south of the border, south of Matamoros, but the impacts will be far reaching, some three or 400 miles north of the system. So it's another case in point as, as per why it doesn't exactly matter where a system like this makes landfall, the impacts can be far reaching. Alberto is the first name. The next name on the list is Burl, and we may see Burl coming up in the next week or two as well. I'll show you why. First off, Texas faces a flash flood potential from Houston all the way down through Harlingen and Brownsville in the valley. And it's all thanks to the Central American Gyre. This is a semi-permanent area of low pressure that sets up this time of year over Central America. And little bits of energy rotate around this big gyre force. And gyre is kind of a funny word, but it just describes a big, slow-moving, low-pressure system. Occasionally, these bits of energy can get flung off of the wheel, kind of like mud off of a tire. And once that hits the Caribbean or the Gulf, it can form into a tropical system. And so after tropical storm Alberto for, forms and makes landfall, a second system may form in its place in the same southwest Gulf region, the Bay of Campeche, in the next seven days. Hurricanes are giving that a 20% chance. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, as far as we're concerned, we are also under the 20% chance, but I'm not as concerned about this one for two reasons. Number one, it is sitting under a big area of upper level low pressure, which is kind of the opposite of what you need for a tropical system. It's kind of like a big paperweight, like an elephant sitting down on top of this thing, stopping it from really moving much as far as development. It's also sitting in an area of high wind shear. You see this blue? This is winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere blowing at some 30 to 40 miles an hour, and it essentially tears the storms apart before they can form. Now that said, this whole thing's drifting westward, but should not represent more than an increase in tropical moisture as it finally arrives late this week, Thursday into Friday, from Orlando points north with higher rain chances, heavier rain, and for many locations, much needed rain. But there could be a little bit of an enhancement of the winds instead of blowing at 25 miles an hour, maybe they blow at 30 or 35 miles per hour, upping the tides a little bit and creating rough surf. 